Oh, Gomez gets drilled. So Gomez plunked in the ribs by Paul Mahal. Pretty good. And stuck him right on the belt. Go go on first base. We'll take it. One, two to Gomez, and there's a deep drive to left. And Weeks is going to be held at third. It's a double for Gomez. That was one of those top spin line drives. Ball just kind of died as it got near the warning track, and fortunately for the Cubs, didn't go out. That's actually right about where Gio, Giovanni Soto wanted that pitch. They wanted to elevate a fastball there up above the letters, trying to get Gomez to chase. Unfortunately, it just wasn't up high enough above the strike zone, and Gomez is able to tomahawk that ball down into the left field corner. He looked like he thought he got all of that ball. Not with the wind blowing the way it is tonight, Carlos. There's Carlos Gomez, and he lines one into left field, a base hit. Before I could say this is an intriguing matchup tonight, Gomez and Mahalam, a pitcher that uses the inside corner and a hitter that loves to swing at the inside pitch. And Gomez, career against Paul Mahalam coming in, a 4 12 hitter. Bouncing ball. Ugla shovels it over to Yanish. And how about Gomez disrupting Yanish? Gomez is the bag with something, and you can see Gomez able to touch the bag with his hand, and that's why. Adrian Johnson didn't call interference. Hand goes right over second base. Second base umpire was looking at that and disrupting the double play. Look at the eyes of the second base umpire. Look at it second base to see. Just one hit in this series. Gomez had a terrific road trip. And he's hit by a pitch. So Mahalam clips Gomez. Well, Mahalam knows that Gomez hits him pretty well. Just wants to keep him honest on the inside corner. Mahalam doesn't throw hard. And he's hit his eighth batter. So he, he tries to come inside. He keeps hitters off the outside corner by coming inside. He wants to try and get you out of the way, though. Gomez takes off. McCann's throw in a second. He is not in time. Carlos Gomez steals the base. That answers the question. Are the Brewers going to slow down their running game down four to nothing? No. Well, you know, Gomez isn't. And guys that can steal bases, you're not going to stop. McCann's throw pretty good, but Gomez had a very good jump. It looked like he went on the first move from Mahalam and able to beat it. That is still. Second base and third and looked at Lou, hands up like, huh? <laughs> and Lou said, ah, do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out really well for both of them. Here's Carlos Gomez. And here we go. <laughs> Swing hard and see what happens. You're right, yep. Dale. Strike one. When he hits it, it goes a long way. Gomez has a home run in the series. Well, his at bats are not ones you, you want to miss. Something interesting is going to happen. He didn't miss that one. And that is a long solo home run for Gomez and a very slow trot. And he's talking to Paul Mahalam about it. Now Freddie wow. Freeman's jawing at him between first and second. Whoa, did Gomez put on a show? And he's still talking to Mahalam and still looking at him. And now McCann's going to meet him. Wow, I've never seen this before. He's got a score, you know. Johnson got right in the middle of that. I don't want to see him get hurt any further. Gomez is at the back of the Milwaukee front. It's one thing to stand and watch one, Murph. It's another to jaw at the pitcher as you're running the bases. 
What in the world is Gomez trying to prove? Well, I, I think we've seen that uh, he's even shoving he's, his own teammates. He's a little unpredictable up there, but it, you know, he hit a home run his first AB here right in the series and has punched out almost every other one. He still hasn't scored. I have never seen a catcher like come out like Brian McCann did and stop a guy from scoring. So the scrum is all but over. Gomez has yet to touch the plate after he hits a long home run. And I'm with you guys. I have never seen a guy continue the discussion with the pitcher, the first baseman, the shortstop. The th Rubbing it in. And it gets to the point where it's bad sportsmanship. He's staring at the hole, staring him down. Ready to tell him just around the bases. Well, some of this, I'm sure, frustration for Gomez. Yes, he's hit two homers in the series, but he's also struck out six times in the series. He still has not gotten a home plate. Johnson's a guy that got to Gomez first. That's the only reason why Freddie would get ejected. Terry Pendleton doing his best to try to screen out Reed Johnson, but Freddie's still moving forward. He held back by some Brewers, including bench coach Jerry Naron. There was Reed. I mean, Reed. Jump right in the middle of him. Terry Pendle spark his lip. I think Brian McCain and Freddie Freeman are doing all the talking. And then Gomez starts chirping. As Gomez comes around the bases, Brian McCann standing there waiting for him, and that's when it was on at that point. Well, Gomez just standing there watching it, and that's uh, something that's kind of a no-no. You don't want to do that. But Gomez, I think the first one came from McCann. Well, you hear him tell him a few expletives and telling Gomez to run. Yeah, it sounded like Mahalam. As Gomez was standing there, is shouting at him, "Run! Right! You need to run!" And then that's when Gomez started jawing back. Freddie Freeman got into it. Reed Johnson was the one who came in and got a shot off on Gomez coming off the bench. Uh, certainly, Carlos Gomez. Yeah, he hasn't touched home plate yet. I'm not sure if the umpires are going to. See that being a difference or not? It took exception to the way uh, Gomez hit the home run off of Paul Mahalam as we Gomez over to left center with the catch. Here's the tag. McCann coming to the plate and the throw trickles in. Conger with a tag. They got him. Tremendous play by Conger on the throw from Gomez. What a time for a double play to end the inning. How'd you like that one, Blummer? That was absolutely gorgeous. What a play on both ends. Gomez getting himself in a good position to throw. Wasn't the greatest throw, but knowing that McCann.